Hello, Osaka Fed. Hi, I'm Roman. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be making some barbecue ribs and I'm going to use a shortcut. Also, I'm making some potato salad, some corn and some baked beans to go with that. Probably a nice little salad on the side. Stay tuned, guys, if you want to see my shortcut, how I do my barbecue ribs. Now, guys, I just want to give you guys a little peek at my ribs. Look at that, all seasoned up really well. So I have a lot of garlic powder, onion powder, some paprika, smoked paprika. I have some barbell, liquid barbell in there. And uh, uh, seasoned salt, black pepper, and it's been marinated in that thing. So it's gonna be really good. The water is boiling, this is the shortcut. What I'm gonna do is put those ribs in there to cook. There's a lot of seasoning on them. I'm gonna let it boil. So it's gonna boil for about half an hour. I'm gonna check it. And after that, I put it on the barbecue. So it's gonna be really tender and I don't have to cook it all day. I'm just checking the ribs and it's not quite half an hour, but I'm just checking to see. So see it's, um, I could leave it for another 10 minutes. I would think. So you see all the seasoning in there guys, all the spices, how it's cooking in that. So that flavor is actually going right into the meat. All right guys, so I decided to put some sausages with my ribs. So I'm gonna use these. And these are great, they're from Costco, they're the farmer's sausage. And now we're gonna put shrimp on there. So look at that guys. Nice and tender. You got all that seasoning cooked into it. And I'll show you guys the finished product once it's all done. That's nice done now. So I'm gonna put the sauce on them. And I'm using a hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce and like I said you can put any sauce you like your favorite sauce this happens to be one of my favorites so I'm putting it on and these ribs are so tender and not all day cooking I'm gonna go take them off now. So I'm gonna make my potato salad. I have potatoes and carrots already cooked and I have everything I need to make the sauce to season it up. I have some hard boiled eggs, some red onion, some dill. I have some seasoned salt, black pepper, mayo and lemon. I cooked a couple beets, chopped them up earlier. They're nice and cold. So that's going in there as well. The potatoes go in here. Oh yeah, that's big enough. So it's nice and cool now. And then I'm gonna chop some dill. And I just love dill in potatoes. I don't care what kind of potato salad I'm making. I make several different types, but I always like adding dill. It's just something about dill and potatoes. They just complement each other so nicely that I always put it in. So next thing I'm going to do is cut some red onions. And I already washed that. So. Next step is the eggs. And usually I would grate this on a rough, the rough side of my grater, but I'm just going to cut them into chunks, okay? I'm using four hard boiled eggs. Don't mind, there's some dill on there. It's all together in the same bowl. So we're just going to cut them into chunks. Uh, I actually cooked about seven large um, russet potatoes. So I'm putting four eggs in that. All 
right? So now I'm gonna make the sauce to put in there. So we're gonna use some mayo. That should be maybe like a cup and a half, but I'll put a little bit more, maybe about it's a lot of potato, so two cups. Get the juice from this lemon. Juice of one lemon. I'm just gonna oh that's a lot of juice. Uh, maybe we put half of it. So we're gonna put that, then we're gonna add some black pepper. So I would say about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. That's enough. And I have the seasoned salt. So that's about half a teaspoon of salt, I would say. Mix that together. Now I'm going to add a little bit of mustard. Just yellow mustard. Okay, that's good. And then I have this gourmet relish. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in there. Maybe a little bit more. All right, and that's it. And now I'm going to mix it again. Now the last thing I'm adding is my beets. Okay, so I'm just going to add these beets to it. Okay, so now we finish mixing everything together and you'll see that it's getting the color pinky color but that's from the beets so if you're making this kind of potato salad any potato salad as a matter of fact you want to do it ahead of time and just keep it in the fridge the colder it is the better now i'm going to make cornbread i'm using my recipe i have a recipe for this cornbread on the channel so what i'm doing is melting my butter so in here i have my flour and my cornmeal also some salt I did use self-rising flour. If you don't use self-rising flour, you add your baking powder. For two cups of flour, then I would add a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. And I have some sugar, and that's gonna go in my butter. I have eggs and buttermilk. Add sugar to the butter. And you just wanna remove it from the heat when you're doing that, okay? That's that. I'm gonna do buttermilk in here. And give that a stir. So I'm adding my eggs to that. You wanna make sure it's not hot when you add that egg to it. So that's why I did the buttermilk first. And that's it. Now I'm gonna add my flour mixture. The oven is been so I have it, it's 375. Add the dry ingredients to the wet in batches. Not all at once, you want to do it gradually. Make sure it's not lumpy. Get it all in, give it a good whisk. Woke up the muscles, guys. Pans greased up, I use the spray. And I'm just gonna pour that in there. Look how creamy that looks. Just looks like porridge. And that's gonna be nice and fluffy. And guys, look at my cornbread, it's all ready. And what I'm gonna do now is just get a little butter and I'm just gonna brush it on top of it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. You have it, guys. My barbecue. We can start a barbecue. I'm ready to start my weekend. Okay, guys. So, thank you for watching me today on Sucker Pet Food. Have yourself a very good weekend, guys. And until next time, have a great time and God bless.